I've been out diving three times so far this year in the Upper Niagara River. I like to give a little state of the river type address or update. So just let you know what I'm seeing down there. Maybe you can make some sense of it all with your fishing. Uh, first we'll start with the bait fish. This is a big, big, big goby year. There are gobies everywhere. They cover the bottom. They're crawling all over the place. It's absolutely nuts. This is probably the biggest goby year in, in maybe ever. Uh, we're also seeing some schools of uh, other kinds of bait fish. Probably we're looking at smelt right here. It might be emerald chinas, but it's probably smelt. They look a little bit big for emeralds. So we are seeing some small balls of uh, these fish in the river, especially in late June. Now, uh, not as many now, but uh, third week of June we were seeing a lot of them. If you ever wondered you see a rock pile on uh, on your electronics, a little hook, and uh, some bait fish over it. This is hopefully what it looks like. Pretty neat. Let's talk walleyes. Uh, we're not catching a bunch of them out in the lake, that's for sure. Uh, what you see in the river is generally local fish. They're local yokels. We are seeing a fair or decent amount of them, actually. Pretty good year. No drop-off from uh, last year on the local fish population. We don't see big schools, typically. We'll see up to five fish in a, in a little pod. Um, a lot of solo fish, a lot of, you know, just one or two fish together. <clears throat> we are seeing, um, like I say, it's pretty typical. It's probably a little hard to believe because uh, we've done terrible out in the lake. The head of the river fishing up there, not good at all this year. We're seeing all different sizes of walleye in the river. That's pretty typical also. So I wouldn't say uh, it's all one year class. It's got to be several year classes. And uh, let's talk about the bass. Here's a couple bass photobombing uh, Photobombing my walleye shot. I used to have this all the time. They were actually quite pesky, the amount of bass we'd see. There, there's been a big fall off in their population, as, as far as I can tell. And you see some beat up looking fish. That, that in and of itself is um, not unusual. It seems like bass get nicked up pretty badly. They suffer from parasites and some, uh, some skin diseases in the river. And that's been going on for years. but. I'd have to say uh, the population overall, I think we're seeing about one-third less bass than we were maybe three or four years ago. So the population to us seems to be uh, taking a downturn of smallmouth bass. So I don't particularly know why. I just report what I see here. And there are clearly not as many as there were a few years back. They sure have enough to eat, as you can see, the goldies all over the bottom there. But um, not seeing quite as many. What we are seeing is sturgeon. And it's okay that a sturgeon photobombs a, when I'm shooting bass. That's fine. <laughs> it's pretty rare. I've known divers who've uh, dove the river for 30 years and never seen a sturgeon. We generally see a couple a year, but I've seen sturgeon every time out, and sometimes in number. This guy here is uh, a little bit deformed. We're going to see a better clip of him in just a second here. He's uh, pretty pretty deformed, as I say. Horrible hug to him. We saw him last year, and he does seem to be growing in size, however, so... Somehow he's getting by with his disabilities. Some of these sturgeon are up to five feet long, five feet, six feet long, we figure. Pretty good sized fish. What were you three doing? Huh? Nothing, huh? We 
Here's another nice long fish. Big fish leave shadows. Muskies. Well, you watch my stuff, you want to see some muskies. No doubt. It's what we do down there. We're seeing probably a typical amount of muskies. Um, no more, no less, but we are seeing fish in all the size ranges. Getting some nice stuff. They've been pretty cooperative. Maybe a little too much sometimes. A little too much in your face sometimes. This is a pretty good fish here. A little nicked up from the spawn, but real nice pattern and a good sized fish. This fish is a big one. This is probably one of the biggest fish, probably the top five fish I've seen in diving this river for 20 years. Look at the bass move out of its way. The thickness of this fish is amazing. Here I'm just filming some gobies coming around the side of a rock pile, just again to show you the amount of gobies. And here's a muskie that takes a little bit of exception to my presence. Right in your face. Yeah. Just about touch the camera lens. Here's a slow mo. Hey, good luck to y'all fishing out there. I hope you have better luck than I have this year. It's uh, with, I think a lot of it's the bait, and the uh, big big schools from Ohio aren't here. <laughs> 